Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, today we will continue with the components and practices for soil quality management. Uh, the next component that is efficient pest management, uh, the management of pests and diseases, so that is also a very important uh, component of soil management uh, because uh, if we manage the quality in the both way, if we manage the quality, of course, there will be a good impact on the uh, disease and pest management. And of course, uh, if we have on the other way, uh, we have uh, raw use of uh, pesticides so that will also affect the soil quality. Maintain good nutrient levels and pH. This can help plant to stay healthy and strong. So of course that will reduce the use of uh, pesticides. Then give plants enough space, enough air and soil for roots to grow and leaves to breathe. So uh, we have to keep the distance between the rows so that there is a good air circulation and uh, less disease attack and less use of uh, uh, pesticide. Avoid soil compaction and erosion for good soil moisture. Uh, so this is also a supporting to have a good, uh, uh, what do you say, the, the aeration in the soil and uh, the uh, enhanced uh, enhanced uh, microbial population of benefit of, of course beneficial microbes and then uh, so there is there, there is a, a positive effect on the remediation of soil borne diseases uh, crops should be rotated uh, in different locations to confuse the the pests and to kill the diseases it mean uh, one crop should not be uh, sown on the same field for a long period of time, and it should be changed so that they uh, cannot uh, uh, regenerate from their uh, previous uh, hibernate periods. Then kill bad bugs when you see them and report disease and use organic controls when necessary. Encourage good bugs. So this both this is kind of a uh, biocontrol as well. Uh, we should only kill the bad bugs and uh, organic control uh, is uh, also helpful to, to manage the soil quality. Uh, the next point uh, are the component of soil management that is enhancing soil fertility. Uh, before uh, going in detail, we should, must know that what is the nutrient management actually, so because enhances and enhancing fertility means uh, we have to manage the nutrients whatever we have in the soil and what are we what we are going to apply so we'll discuss what is uh, nutrient management why does nutrient management required then there are of, of course hurdles to practice those uh, management strategies and then how to monitor soil for nutrient management so first, uh, the nutrient management is the process of managing the amount, source, timing, and method of nutrient application with the goal of optimizing for productivity while minimizing nutrient losses contributing to environmental problems. So this is very uh, comprehensive uh, definition, I think. Uh, we have to manage the amount that how much fertilizer we have to add are the other amendment source, which source is uh, good for the better soil quality the timing uh, to for the efficient use of fertilizers. And then the method of nutrient applications, all these should be in such a way that we uh, optimize the far product. We, we, we cannot uh, uh, afford the low productivity of farm. So we have to maintain the productivity of farm to keep it running as we discussed in the very beginning. And then uh, if we will optimize in such a way that uh, uh, we are losing or we are reducing the, the losses to environment, so it means we are managing the nutrients in a good way. So why does nutrient management require? We know that whatever, uh, the plants they are getting that is from soil or whatever 
we are adding to to the soil uh, but whatever we are adding to the soil or whatever in the soil is so that all doesn't goes only to the plants uh, so there are other losses as well uh, there are climatic factors as well uh, there are different soil formations as well so soil is a, a very rich source of nutrients of course but it is not indefinite source of nutrients required by the plant so so we have to manage those in, those in such a way that we can is recycle the nutrients or we can uh, manage the soil in such a way that we can reduce the losses for example we have nitrous oxide losses ammonia losses uh, then we are exporting we are harvesting the crop we are exporting the minerals and nutrients from there we are adding fertilizers and some fertilizer is going toward the streams by runoff then we have also some leaching losses of some kind of fertilizer like nitrate uh, so then we have also the fixation in the soil whatever we are adding in the soil the, especially the phosphorus that is fixed with the soil uh, so so there are a lot of things which uh, have to be considered uh, while talking about uh, nutrient management uh, because there are chances of losses so management is generally to reduce the applications and to reduce the losses so when you reduce the losses it means you are utilizing the fertilizer efficiently so you are a good manager uh, of nutrient uh, in that side so what kind of hurdles uh, can be uh, when we are talking about the nutrient management mostly farmers use nutrient management in the world to pehli baat ye hai ki duniya mein taqreeban sare farmers hi kuch na kuch wo management zarur karte hain iske bagair koi option hai nahi soil analysis is sometime not in approach uh, but the hurdle is that ke if we want to apply the precise amount of nutrients so this no availability of uh, lab testing then sometimes the cost of nutrients if, if you are going to change the sources uh, so the cost of nutrient does matter uh, and then uh, some nutrients so they are very expensive the farmers they cannot buy that so it means they are not going for balance balance fertilization so so this is a hurdle for best nutrient management. uh variation in crop response so sometimes the nutrients so they have a variable response in different crops even different crop genotype so that is also confusing for farmers to, to adopt a, a very a precise technology of nutrients even confuse the farmers to utilize that nutrients or not uh then uh how to monitor soil for nutrient management uh the first thing is uh, soil analysis for the nutrients uh, only this is the source uh to manage that how much nutrients are there in the soil we can also do it by a animal uh, sorry by plant analysis uh, but in the plant analysis even uh, that is uh, more tough as compared to soil analysis we have relatively more laboratories for soil analysis uh, then we can uh, determine the organic matter content in the soil so that can tell us about the, what is the status of nutrients in the soil and then the deficiency symptoms if we are uh, seeing any kind of deficiency symptoms in the uh, field so so there is a need it means there is a need to apply that element so actually this these are the fertility evaluation ways uh, uh, we can uh, uh, do it by analysis only or we can do it by uh, uh, looking at the symptoms in the plants which has been grown if you we are feeling ke usme kis cheez ki deficiency aa rahi hai then we can apply that fertilizer so uh, what will happen uh, Now, and what will uh, get uh, benefit if we enhance the fertility in, in the end, which we started with that are maintain good level of nutrients, test soil regularly, and add compost.
host are specific nutrients as recommended by soil experts. Don't leave field bare and avoid overwatering. Keep the pH in the optimum range and it should be monitored and it should be management. So these are some practices which uh, have to be taken. These are very simple. Uh, we have almost already discussed everything. Uh, and uh, here I want to emphasize on the pH because the pH is very important in different parts of the world uh, and it has a very direct effect on nutrient availability. So this is a very beautiful map uh, in the sense that it's a good aesthetic value. So we have red color here, we have blue and then we have yellow. So red color shows uh, the acidic soils uh, and then uh, the, these are the part of Africa and America and the Russian states. And then we have some part of these, uh, I think, uh, Philippines. And then uh, we have a blue color, alkaline salts. So Pakistan is mostly in alkaline salts. Uh, and uh, then we have a yellow color that is the neutral pH, which is uh, uh, thought to be the best for nutrient uh, availability. So unfortunately, we don't have a neutral size, maybe a few small patches. Uh, but India has uh, uh, many neutral uh, fields, uh, but the most fertile, fertile area of uh, India, so they, they have also alkaline sites. You can observe that here. So it means uh, we have to take care of the uh, pH soil, pH while recommendation, and this is very important in that we cannot follow the American recommendation in our soils because our soils are different from there. So they have totally acidic soils and we have alkaline soils. So, so we have to manage nutrients in our own way, depending upon the pH. So pH is only one factor. Of course, there are many other factors as well. So then uh, the next component is that we have to keep the land covered. Uh, so this is also an important, which is uh, generally uh, not uh, adapted. Uh, what does it do? It reduces the soil compaction uh, because you are growing plants and plant roots there. You are not keeping the soil there. So it reduces the compaction. Manage nitrogen and nutrient cycling. So you are managing the, the, the uh, nitrogen and especially when you are growing the leguminous uh, crops, so it is very helpful. Uh, not only for the land cover, but it also fix some nitrogen from the atmosphere. And the other nutrient cycling that you, you can incorporate is that the cover uh, crop uh, are grown uh, in, in some part of the bird, but not in all. Of course, it reduces the soil erosion because the soil is not bare. Greater water infiltration due to root proliferation. Uh, improve water holding capacity, of course, because the less compaction and control weeds. If you are not growing any crop uh, in the bare area, uh, then uh, of course there will be weeds, and uh, those weeds weeds may be harmful for the next crop. But if you are growing some crop there, and then you are suppressing the natural weeds there, and so, which is very important for next crop. So. What are basically the cover crops when we say that we have to keep the land covered by cover crops? Uh, so we'll discuss it, that what are the cover crops and what are the hurdles for that and how we can monitor that. Should we have cover crops or not, depending on the soil quality. Uh, the, the cover crops are basically the crops which are grown when the, the major crop has been harvested. And then the soil is bare and you are growing some vegetative, uh, uh, maybe you can also grow some leguminous fodders, leguminous crops. Uh, we prefer <clears throat> leguminous crop because there is no need to apply fertilizer to those and though you can keep the cover without adding any extra fertilizer and in the end that will also 
contribute the soil fertility. So actually, uh, between the uh, two cash crops which we are growing on that soil, if there is some period which you don't have anything to grow there, so just grow the crops, cover crops, so that you can maintain the soil quality. Hurdles, cash crops priorities. Uh, always we think that we should have some cash crops uh, to get benefit. Then sometimes cover crop selection is very difficult because you might not have a, a seeds for that uh, uh, crop and you don't know that which crop uh, can be grown in this season and sometimes you don't have any crop season or sowing season of any crop. So these are the hurdles, uh, time and method of establishment. So when to do that and method of establishing, if you cut the fossil or the fossil, if you will cultivate it, if you will have a lot of expenses, then its method to establish is also important. Then how to terminate it, if you have grown and then you have to root away or do something for the next crop, then that is also an issue. Uh, cost of nitrogen fertilizer and the end value of cover crops. Uh, sometimes you have to uh, fertilizer apply karna padta hai. Agar aapki soil bilkul hi nitrogen less hai, to start mein aapko dena padta hai. Sometimes uh, your cover crop is not leguminous crops and that gets also cost of nitrogen there. Fuel cost, agar aapne grow karni hai, to or you have to germin, uh, sow it some um, by some method, drilling or such kind of thing. Uh, you can monitor by looking at the uh, organic matter uh, uh, in the soil, organic carbon, then infiltration rate can be measured. Uh, th this is TOC for total organic carbon, then the infiltration rate measurement, you can do that. Surface organic residues, so they, that can also be checked to see the, uh, the need of cover crops. Uh, improving crop diversity. So this is, uh, again, is very important because uh, we have, in the start, we have also discussed that, uh, especially in the uh, disease management, that we have to rotate the crops. We should not grow one crop in, uh, in one field, we have we must diversify the crops. It doesn't mean that we have to uh, grow the crops in small patches in a field, different crops. But uh, uh, we should rotate the crops. If we have one season, we wheat in one season, then next we have wheat and we grow other things there. So what will happen if we improve the crop diversity? Manage weed, insect, and disease pest. We have already discussed reduce soil erosion by wind and water. जब एक ही तरह की crop होगी तो एक ही तरह के cultivation method होंगे तो वो अगर आप maize बार बार cultivate कर रहे हैं तो वो बड़ी intensive crop है तो वो उससे soil के erosion होने के chances जो हैं ज़्यादा होंगे. Maintain or increase soil organic matter. अगर आप कुछ ऐसी crops लगाते हैं जिनके crop residues ज़्यादा हैं और इन rotation लगाते हैं तो वो of course that will enhance the organic matter. Some ke jo root part hai, wo zyada hota hai, to wo bhi ver saal ka organic method jo wo improve karta hai. Provide biologically fixed nitrogen when legumes are used in rotation. To yahan pe bhi aap legumes use kar sakte hai in rotation, so that will also contribute to nitrogen. Then manage excess nutrient. Sometimes we know that the different crops have different requirements. अगर एक लेट से के फास्फोरस है वो एक फर्टिलाइजर एक क्राफ के लिए उसको बहुत थोड़ा चाहिए तो वो फिर पाइल अप होता रहता है साल के अंदर तो उसको यूटिलाइज करने के लिए आप कोई और ऐसी क्राफ लगा सकते हैं इन रोटेशन को वो वो यूज कर ले तो इस तरह जो है वो एक्सेस जो होती है न्यूट्रिएंट की वो रिसाइक्लिंग इसकी क्राफ रोटेशन है क्या क्राप रोटेशन ये है कि आपने पहले कार्टन लगाई है फिर आप गंदम लगा लें फिर आप चारा लगा लें फिर चना लगा लें फिर मेज लगा लें फिर आप आलू लगा लें तो ये क्राप रोटेशन है कि एक ही फील्ड के अंदर आपने डिफरेंट क्राप्स जो हैं ग्रो कर सिस्टम ऑफ ग्रोइंग डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ क्राप्स इन रिकरेंट सक्सेशन ऑन द 
कि एक ही लैंड के ऊपर आपने डिफरेंट क्राप्स जो है वो ग्रो करनी है इन सक्सेशन हार्डेस्ट क्राप प्राइस फ्लक्चुएशन अगर आप ने दो तीन क्राफ्ट देखी हुई हैं तो लगाने के लिए नोटेशन देन यू विल आल्सो सी द प्राइस अगर आप ये क्राफ बेटर प्राइस दे रही है तो यू विल गो फॉर दैट सो सो दैट इज द हाइडल बेसिकली इनपुट कास्ट अगर आप चेंज करना चाह रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल कुछ फार्मर्स जो हैं वो बहुत मतलब पुअर फार्मर्स हैं या उनके लेस रिसोर्सेस फार्मर्स हैं तो उनके पास लेट्स से हो सकता है कि कार्टन ग्रो करने के लिए कास्ट पैसे ही ना हो मेज के लिए उनके पैसे ना मेज खरीदने के लिए पैसे ना हो उसका सीड तो वो गंदम का बीज वही लगा के तो उसको सो कर लें तो ये भी एक इनपुट कास्ट जो है डिफरेंट क्राफ्ट की वो दे रही है कुछ की ज्यादा है तो वो भी एक हो सकता है इशू रेंटल एग्रीमेंट्स हैं उसमें आपने साल का किया है दो साल का किया तो यू डोंट हैव टू केयर इन दैट केस अगर इकोनॉमिकली देखें तो आपको साइल की केयर करने की जरूरत नहीं है आप अपनी फसल नहीं और जाए इसमें ज्यादा पैसे लेकिन इफ यू हैव ए लॉन्ग टर्म एग्रीमेंट अगर फ्लैट से आपने को दस पंद्रह साल का एग्रीमेंट किया तो देन अफकोर्स यू हैव टू लुक एट अगर आपका शॉर्ट टर्म रेंटल एग्रीमेंट है तो देन अफकोर्स people will not go for that they will only go for uh, the crop which can give them more profit uh government support price jo hai wo kuch crops ki hai to people jo hai uske upar jayenge wo dusri crops ki un gaye to ye bhi ek factor hai ya the government sab ke upar support de taaki log different crops jo hai grow kare sometime weather condition jo hai wo support nahi karti के वो डिफरेंट ग्राफ को बारिश आ गई कभी तो एक फसल नहीं लगाई दूसरी ही लगा ली फिर उसमें चेंजेस आ जाती हैं फिर जो आपने प्लान किया उसके मुताबिक होता नहीं ओन फार्म रिसोर्सेज अगर आप वीट कास्ट कर रहे हैं तो देन यू हैव ए ड्रिल फॉर दैट एंड यू हैव ऑल अदर कल्टीवेशन एंड इवन द सीड्स एंड अदर रिसोर्सेज बट If you are going for maize, so you have to drill, purchase new drill, perhaps, or to modify that, and you need some other resources. So, the less resources are, will be hurdle. So, how can we monitor soil in reference to crop rotation? Of course, the organic matter is the major component. Nitrogen concentration we can check, infiltration rate because it also affects the infiltration rate and the साइज स्ट्रक्चर वीड्स ग्रोथ से यू कैन अगर बहुत ज्यादा वीड्स ग्रो हो रही हैं आपकी फसल में बार बार तो आप फसल चेंज करें तो दैट इज वेरी गुड पॉइंट टू चेंज एंड अगर आप एक साल के लिए भी उसको आउट कर देंगे कोई नई नई क्राप लगा दें नॉर्मली लोग चारा लगा देते हैं कि तो उसके साथ ही खत्म हो जाए डिजीज प्रेशर समटाइम अगर एक ही फील्ड पे आप बार बार लगाते हैं तो एंड देन यू हैव आल्सो डिजीज प्रेशर सो सो यू हैव टू चेंज द क्राप Uh, to confuse the insects as we have uh, discussed earlier so that was uh, all about today